Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given some triangles with some angles. This is congruent to this, and they give us the values of these two angles, and they're asking us to solve for x. Let's do this. If you want to try this on your own, pause it, because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. For the first step, let's focus on this linear pair right here. I want to find out what is this other angle. Combine these form 180 degrees, so we know that the question mark plus 45 will equal 180. That'll be true if the question mark is 135. So we know that this angle is 135 degrees. Next, let's focus on this triangle right here. What is the value of this angle? The sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. And this will be true for 30, so we can change this angle to 30 degrees. And now that we know this 30 degrees, we won't need this 135 anymore. Starting from the vertex of this angle, let's draw out this blue segment and construct a circle with that as the radius. And let's find where this circle intersects this. Let's connect this intersection point to the center of our circle. This is another radius of the circle, so it's equal to this segment right here. And now we don't need this circle anymore. Next, let's focus on this triangle right here. Since there are two sides congruent in this triangle, we know it's an isosceles triangle. And the angles opposite the congruent sides are also congruent. So we know that this angle right here is also 30 degrees. And now to find the last angle of the triangle, we can set them all equal to 180. And this will be true for 120. So this angle right here is 120 degrees. Next, I want to find this angle right here. And we're going to use these three angles to get it. This angle plus this angle plus this angle will all add up to 180 degrees. And this statement will be true for 15. So we know that this angle right here is 15 degrees. Next, I'm thinking let's focus on this triangle right here. Since these angles are both 15 degrees, we know it's an isosceles triangle. And the sides opposite the congruent angles are also congruent. Next, let's connect this intersection point with this vertex right here. And let's focus on our new triangle. To find this angle down here, we need to add the 15 degrees and the 45 degrees to get 60 degrees. And now let's get the last two angles of this triangle. This is another isosceles triangle, so we know that these two angles are congruent to each other. And we also know that if we add up all three of these angles, it's going to be 180 degrees. This will be true if both of these angles are 60 degrees. And now since all three angles are 60 degrees, we know it's an equilateral triangle, so all three sides are going to be congruent. So now from here, I'm interested in this angle right here. So let's focus on these three angles and find that angle right there. These three angles are also going to add to 180 degrees. And this will be true if the angle is 90 degrees. So let's put one of those little boxes right there to show that's 90 degrees. For our next step, let's focus on this right triangle right here. It's also an isosceles triangle. So we know that these two angles are going to be congruent to each other. And if we add up all three of these angles, we can find out that each of these are a 45 degree angle. Let's look at this x degrees and this 15 degrees. Let's make them red. We know that the sum of these two angles will be equal to this larger angle. So we have x plus 15 is equal to 45. After we subtract 15 from both sides, we find that x is equal to 30. And that is the answer to our question. They wanted us to solve for x. So let's clean things up a little bit and put a box around it. x equals 30. How exciting.